So today I'm going to try and help you make a decision between either the 128 gig model of the MetaQuest 3 or the 512. And the reason this question has come up recently, I believe mostly, is because developers are now sharing the size of the files that the games are going to be. So like Red Matter 2, for example, I think was around like 5.2 or 5.6. It's now going to be up to the 9 gig range. And they've even added optimizations and compression because it should be like 12.1. So maybe some developers won't add that. It's quite difficult at the moment to try and figure out what you're going to get and I think it depends on what you're going to use the headset for and this is where it gets a bit complicated for me what to recommend and I think the recommendations go on your situation basically that is the only way to determine what you're going to buy currently I believe if you have a 256 Quest 2 you normally lose about I'm going to say safely say about 10 gig just to uh, operate in software and all the other bits and bobs that just run in the background of the quest so if you get a 128 Quest 3 and I'm very surprised they've done a 128 uh, in my predictions I thought it was going to be a 256 and 512 but obviously they're trying to keep costs down with the 128 you're looking at 118 for actual valuable memory and obviously take into consideration games like asgard's wrath which last time i checked on reddit they said it was around 25 gig but that was they still don't know exactly what it's going to be in my mind i would expect that to be around 40 gig i mean it's it's quoting 60 hours of gameplay if we think to ourselves right we're looking at 10 gig a game and then i would up that to 15 so let's say for example each game is around 15 gigs that's only seven games you can have on there and that might be fine for some of you and this is where the, the 128 conversation happens if you're going to be using this headset predominantly at your home and you've got decent wi-fi because you save games to be fine you can simply be uninstalling and installing the apps what you want to use and if you're a quest plus user you're going to have two new games a month that you might want to try so it's like oh you know if you're going to be a very home based user of quest 3 you might get away with the 128 but unfortunately for everyone else, I would suggest the 512. Just to be clear, I'm going to get a review unit. I don't know what size it's going to be, but I will purchase the 512. Simply because I have to do a lot of playtesting. So a lot of games that aren't actually on the store that I need to check out. Plus, I like to keep my games on there. You know, I've still got Resident Evil 4 installed on my quest 2 from the day i got it i don't want to uninstall it i just i like it being there and there might be a weird thing to say some people won't agree with that but there's certain games i just want to leave in there so yeah i just wanted you to know that these developers are out there and they're saying just keep your eyes open on twitter and stuff and on uh on oculus reddit that they're letting you know that the size of these games are going to get bigger and i actually think as developers get a better grip of the hardware and make these games look even better they're going to be even bigger than that i'm definitely not happy with the fact that 128 is what they're offering for 499 dollars or 499 pounds i do wish it was a 256 but that's where we are in one way i kind of think to myself well for 499 or 500 dollars 500 pounds you've got a mobile headset and a pcvr headset of incredible quality that's that's pretty much where we are so make sure you keep your eyes open for what these developers are saying about their games to make a kind of prediction of what you're going to need as always let me know down in the comments what headset you're getting and if you haven't already pre-ordered a board i've got a referral link that'll be pinned in the comments and in the description it's free if you want to use it it's entirely up to you it definitely supports the channel but i'm fully behind this hardware i've used it if you haven't seen that video i'm going to link it right now to this video go and check out my hands-on impressions and i'll see you on the next video